Get back in the town. Don't have quite enough strength to the south to finish punching these guys out. I think I'm going to have to keep trying to push forward as quickly and as far as I can. Now, look at all this deep forest. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> deep forest. I think he's got another cat. I think he's got another city back here is what's going on. I think he's likely got one more city back here that I have to eliminate. So, let's let's keep rolling you north. Maybe we can randomly find that that city back there. We will uh Keep trying to get these guys south. Uh, that is not quick enough. One, whatever, one, two, three spaces. One, two, three. Yeah, it's gonna be three more turns before I even get the units into range. Then their readiness points are gonna have dropped. Meanwhile, he's got units just gobbling up all the guys' territory. So even if I win the fight for the capital, I'm gonna gain like four spaces of territory. Managed to have the hell. The hell? <laughs> How am I not taking that territory? What is my condition with these guys? I'm at peace with them. I shouldn't be able to even cross his border. I'm not sure why it's even letting me move that guy. But I'm also not sure why... I I don't know what's going on there. There's something really weird happening right here. But I shouldn't be able to cross his border. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what's happening over there. Yeah, it's just going to take me too long to get this group down here, to even get into the fight. <clears throat> I should have I should have set points aside to get one more army group put together and uh, taken these two out while I was dealing with that stuff up north. I think that was a mistake. Might be good to draw another road right through here. Let's get all this finished up or done while I've got uh, I've got some IP saved up. How much is that? Seven eighty. Oof. Let's wait on that. Still just managing. Uh-oh, we're pulling too much out of our, our SHQ. Not good. Not good. I need to do some infrastructure upgrades. Hmm. Nah, there's no such thing as peaceful playthrough on this game. There is diplomacy. You can do a lot of diplomatic things. But in order to win the game, I, I don't think it would be possible. Not not completely peaceful, anyway. You just wouldn't be able to expand your territory because you'd have no way of uh, convincing nearby miners and such to join you. I don't think it would be possible. But you can get miners to join you. You can form alliances with majors and have a joint victory. And there, There's a lot of things possible that I haven't explored yet. So... I won't say it's flat out impossible, but I can't see how you would be likely.
So, I got that road developed, so if our logistics situation clears up, I can form an army group up right here, and then just immediately try to jump in on him. Um, Station 3 is there currently. We can upgrade it. It's going to take a while. Four rounds. Man. Jumps to 16,000. Four rounds, though. Might be time to get a rail station going. Put a rail station in for the main line between these two. Rail stations are really mostly useful for really long range movement. The trucks tend to peter out much earlier. Speaking of which, let's. What do we have here? Got transport hub. 500 credits to nationalize. Uh, I got so much stuff to pay attention to. <laughs> Trade, sell. What will you let me sell? I don't need that many machines. Not even remotely. 60 per. Let's get some bank. 50. 45. Copy that. We got cash. Hmm. All right, I should be doing these things first. Hidden village, riots, waste disposal accidents, lots of fun stuff. Mining techniques, hydroponics, food, still not a problem. Let's do mining techniques. Copy that. All right, here we go. Hidden village discovered. Oh, good old autocracy, democracy question. What do they want? 700 seem peaceful. So leave them alone in exchange for 200 colonists per turn, which is my preference. Instead of uh, forcing them into my workforce. Hyrule Point doesn't need them in the workforce. Um, still barely holding on. But these, I just can't get these numbers to go down. Whatever I pick now, meritocracy is going to not be the leading uh, leading tag in that, that back, or, uh, profile group. Well, if anything's going to have it, I'd rather it be democracy. Aye, aye, sir. Not good. Riots in Badenkow. Riots in the new city, huh? Well, this is where we pay that bank. <laughs> and we raise this even further. Difficulty of 222, and I can roll 120. Yeah, that, that sounds fair. That, that sounds doable. <laughs> or just ignore the riots and take the unrest. Uh, how much do we have there now? 54 currently. I am never going to see meritocracy <laughs> as a high number again. Uh, there's just no way I'm going to be able to lower it. I'm going to take the unrest. We're going to be fighting over here for quite a while. Anyway. Ignore them. Let them uh, we'll go. Waste disposal in pyro. Let's see. Uh, we're guaranteed to win or to succeed, probably critically. 
because we've got a plus 116 if we spend the four political points. So 117 is our my, is our minimum. Yeah, I guess they could roll max on all of them. But I guess it's not guaranteed. Aye, aye, sir. 154 versus an 89 critical success. No danger. All right, and who's going to be the governor? <laughs> they all are bad. Let's see. Did we get a new new option for recruiting somebody other than a junior? I'm still waiting for somebody other than a junior. Nope. Roger that. Yeah, a little better. Hannibal Bendark. Suitability 9, interpersonal relationships 56. What are you looking like? Ooh, cap 4. I like the cap four. I don't like the autocracy bent that he's got. <laughs> he's got bribery. <laughs> His one skill is bribery. Well, you're going in anyway, Hannibal. Aye, aye, sir. Enjoy. Okay. So, we got those done. What else was I working on? I had so many things I kept getting distracted by. I needed money for something, and then I went and sold stuff, and now I can't remember what I needed the money for. logistics upgrade Is that what I was looking at why would that take money though a truck upgrade oh the nationalization yeah you're right that's what I was working on that takes money nationalizing the uh, yeah the, uh, the thing in here uh so it was the I forget which one I was looking at it's transport hub 500 credits Sure. Could nationalize this as well. Get a little more. I think it turns it into a scavenging. It turns into a recycling. I think. I can't remember. Everybody's extremely happy with me. So. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, recycle. Industry 2. Good choice. Oops. I'm not getting full value out of these mines, I don't think. Yep. Production is down 20% because we're only getting 80 uh, logistics points in. I thought I was fixing that. Yeah, it's fixing that with this. So next turn. That'll take care of our production problems there. That'll fulfill in next round. Still won't be enough unless I use the restrictions here. Yeah, we definitely need uh we need upgrade in logistics beyond what I just did. Do 
two rounds for the station. So it doesn't look impressive for the station. It's only 1,000 logistics points, but they extend outward for a really, really long distance compared to the uh, the truck stations. So that's the big advantage for the rail stations, is that that 1,000 points extends out for, for uh, like 50 spaces instead of just the 10 that the truck stations, even though there's 4,000 points, it only extends out 10 spaces on uh, dirt roads, 20 spaces on sealed roads. So then it starts to degrade rapidly. So if you've got long distances, you want uh, train stations. I don't know that I have long distance enough to warrant the train station right now. We're getting there. I just don't think we're quite there yet. So, let's start up this truck station four. Not that expensive material-wise, it's just going to take four rounds. Yes, sir. So, between that and that, our southern logistics will take care of themselves. Um... Another truck station in there. Got the workers, got transport hub, which I could nationalize. They're already mad at me, so I don't care if they, they get more mad. <laughs> All right, Governor. Aye, aye, sir. Let's have a chat. Dan Incorporated. Allow emergency. Allow emergency food. Let's go with some worker salary, public budget. And let the governor work out the worker totals. Aye, aye, sir. Worker happiness jumps up. All right. Cow. Let's see. How can we make these guys happy quickly? At 98 points. And eight fake points. Let's do Labor Day is worker happiness. We need to get the general population happiness. Population happiness and loyalty increased by 3D10. Let's do that one. This is going to be an important spot for me. Aye, aye, sir. 12, 12, and 12. Not as high as I was hoping. Not even close to as high as I was hoping. And yeah, so a security out. Aye, aye, sir. Too. All right, next up. All right, numbers. Terrible numbers. Twenty-seven percent chance to give him money. <laughs> Trying to give him a bonus payment, and I have a twenty-seven percent chance. That still seems weird. I'm actually not sure what my corruption level is. Do I have? Uh, I don't think I have a way of. Sorting. Oh, yep, I do have corruption. 
Really? You're not sorting to the top? <laughs> 25, huh? Logan Xantus is 25 corruption. Hey, Logan, what's your deal? No theft yet, huh? Hmm. Nah, we won't do anything with that. Oh yeah, covert ops. How are we doing on our covert ops for this guy? Yeah, he just keeps killing my spies as soon as I send them. I only got a 27% chance. Failed again. Copy that. Failed again. <laughs> Copy that. Failed again. That's enough tries this time, maybe. All right. Uh, so if I am not going to build a railway, or I'm not going to build it now anyway, do I sealed road this? Almost 800. I do. Actually, this would help us a well. Oof. 800 for those as well. Ouch. Let's wait up. All right, next turn I'm looking to put up a... Uh, I'm going to need a lot more points before I can it. If I pull points out of here, that's going to cause problems up this way. Ugh, timing's just not going to be good. Might be better just to raise the units here in the capital and then walk them over to the border instead of trying to raise them over here through the logistics network. So, if I were to do so, heavy machine gun infantry brigade motorized. That's the one I want. 11,000, 1,800. Youch! <laughs> Yep. He wants the whole thing motorized. I think we'll be able to uh, get him to the front pretty quickly. Let's do it. Hey, buddies. What color do we want to make you guys? Um, dark green? Brown? Actually, I don't think I have a yellow yet. Go bright yellow. All right, so we'll give them a turn or two to uh, get their readiness levels up. And then... I'm either going to send them up this way <laughs> or over this way. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Blue Man Group is my idea to go here. I'm just concerned. The amount of land that guy is gobbling. 
All right, that, uh, that burned up quite a bit of my gear. We got cash. Everything else is... Oh, I got no oil. Holy crap. All right, let's reorient here. What have I done to myself? <laughs> Step one, trade, buy oil. Or fuel, as it's called, intermittently. That's Copy not that. enough. That's not near enough. So, got a level one oil drill. How long does an upgrade cost? Two turns. Gets us to a thousand oil output. Also two turns for 500 outputs. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a problem when we don't have fuel <laughs> for our motorized units. Didn't notice just how rapidly my oil was depleting. All right. Yes, sir. Great going. Eighteen thousand fuel at level six. Nineteen thousand at level five. I'm not connected to those fuel fields. Yeah, we gotta we gotta build them all. Yes, sir. Next turn, to build that mine, maybe I can tell it now. Yes, sir. Ooh, 38,000, level five, 25 at level nine, 12. So that's a good one there too. Another thing I should have done a while back. Yes, sir. Okay, well, that'll take care of the problem in a few turns. <laughs> I'm just going to have to pray I can buy up some oil next round. <clears throat> All right, we still haven't done that big fight, right? What to do with this mess? I move those units back behind that. I really don't want to attack into forests, even at 24 to 1. And let's see what happens. Bring in the tanks! <laughs> Operation successful. Even at 24 to 1, still end up getting killed. Can't bring him forward. Um, huh, 15 to 1. All by himself with only 4 action points? That'd be a terrible fight. Two armor. Two. That should be a walkover as well.
Hmm. <laughs> He's got free folk, non-aligned free folk coming from the east. That's kind of weird. Trying to figure out how to use the tanks <clears throat> to do breakthroughs. Actually, get these Blitzkrieg breakthroughs so I can get around behind units. 37 strength free folk. That's funny. One twenty six to one. Uh, what is that actually going to accomplish? Fire in the hole. But yeah, this is all mop up. They're all just collapsing. Gotta go in with. Jeez. <laughs> hmm. to maintain a pretty serious presence here in the in the city that's my GR unit you definitely need to come forward <clears throat> didn't look like much just from artillery alone seems like with numbers that big something else should be happening all right you stay there you head that way also somebody else to help cover my GR unit.
So, I believe next round we'll be able to eliminate probably most of these groups. Again, I'm trying to keep mobile units pushing to keep the borders as much as I can. Locked on target. They have counterfire. Copy that. Didn't even get to fight with my GR units. I'm not sending him in alone against anything. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to get out of that fight. Okay, I think we're done again. Cash we've got. Oil is my immediate concern. I screwed up. I wasn't watching my how fast my oil was depleting after I lost or I depleted that one oil field. Take us a couple of turns to flip that around, and we got the uh, the other big army built. So that army group will come over, and uh, yeah, kind of depending on what happens up here. I'm not sure which direction they're going to go. And we got a lot of logistical infrastructure going in. Not sure which side I want to look at. Probably this might shuffle around, but they're not going to be able to attack for much. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I've noticed the tanks can attack multiple times in a round. So that's their, I believe their, what I call a breakthrough or Blitzkrieg ability, is that they can attack, punch a hole, and then uh, attack again. Or move up to follow through. You can always step into a space if you force the other unit to retreat or be eliminated, but tanks can go even further. So I'm trying to figure out how best to use them to break a line and then uh, rush through. I'm just really worried about having tanks by, their, by themselves, unsupported by infantry. <clears throat> and there he is, gobbling up territory. <laughs> Damn you. Oh, we actually lost some troops. Yeah, but in combat, the uh, uh, I'm trying to remember with infantry. I don't remember ever having a time where infantry didn't wasn't out of AP by the end of the combat, even if we eliminated the enemy pretty quickly. It's happening quite often with the tanks. So either they're retaining some of their AP, or the fights are over quick enough, or something. Oh, actually, we didn't lose anybody. We killed 300. Cool. Hey, metal deposits! Oh, rare metal.
Advanced sensors. Tank destroyer. Ah, uh, the armored army. <laughs> another load and another earlock. Give money. Silver level retirement. Yeah, where are the better leaders? Dang it. <laughs> I want the cards to let me recruit better leaders. Hmm. What do we got? Research, worker strike, and a new commander. Ooh, they're all terrible. Let's get the armor upgrade. And I'm still not ready to design new units. Oh look, it's autocracy and democracy again. I'm I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. I just don't like the balance for this. It's just damn impossible to maintain anything other than <laughs> autocracy, fist, and democracy. That's the only things that ever come up in all these these roles, and you're they're happening constantly in multiple cities. <clears throat> The meritocracy and <laughs> mind and uh, currency events are extremely few and far between. I just don't know how I'm ever going to have a, a game actually finish with the, uh, the profiles I want. Uh, same problem. Exact same place, exact same problem. Do I just let unrest keep stacking? Fifty-seven. Huh. Diminishing by about eleven with the troops I have there currently. <sighs> aye, aye, sir. Well, I, I wouldn't have a problem with that idea if there was any other way <laughs> to expand. I mean, in the early game, you have you have absolutely no polit political options available to you. You've got to work your way through a bunch of different councils, then hope that you get certain points, then hope you have certain leaders that have high enough skills to then make ridiculously hard difficulty checks, to then maybe have a chance to get some kind of diplomacy with a miner. <laughs> or... You can raise an army and march across the border and kick his ass. <laughs> so, it's just the disparity between the options that uh, makes it feel like you really only have one choice. Just play every single game as an autocratic fist. Uh, what, autocratic fist? Which one? Probably enforcement. But yeah, autocratic enforcement fist. Just play that and go, go play army mans. All the other options so far feel like way too little options for you to try to do, and um, not enough return for the uh, the hassle of trying to do it. I'm actually still surprised. We're on turn 43, and I've still got uh, I just flipped meritocracy to the lowest to, to a lower stat, but I've managed to maintain my three this long, which surprises me. I got a lot of guys out of supply. That's not a good thing to see. Oh, my supply network is screwed up. Um, all right, new commander. So we're going to try to go get a commander. Nation recruit Merc. Will I spend the big 43? I think the last time I tried this, the guy was just, 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 just terrible. It was like recruiting a, a worst case junior or one of the, uh, the riffraff that the pro, the, uh, political parties try to fob off on you. Ugh. Or I can spend nine to get a military. I just, I can't, I can't afford to spend half of my points on something that last time I tried it, I think it was terrible. Roger that. I wish it would give me the name of the leader in case I didn't know offhand. I'm going to assume it was Vlad Uranus. <laughs> hey, Vlad. 
you've got what exactly? A little bit of tank tactics and infantry tactics, but no actual command ability. And an absolutely terrible war score. <laughs> Good lord. Alright, let's try it anyway. Let's go ahead and spend those points. Recruit Merc. Roger that. How about now? 28 suitability, zero Robin Hall. That's a little better. Only a cap two, but at least he's got some command ability and some tactics, so eh, that's probably worth the price. It's hard enough to get these guys. You're in. Go get them, Zero. Copy that. All right, let's see how bad this is. What did I do? Oh, they're probably zeroed out because they didn't get their oil. No, we got oil now. Hmm. All right, let's go find out what they didn't get. Bottleneck, who's who's out? You should be in range. Theoretically. Uh, current points? Yeah, plenty of points showing up in the area. So what... What are you actually out of, specifically? Resources. Fuel. So I think what happened here is we were bingo on fuel at the beginning of the turn when it did the upkeep phase. Then it did production after that. So upkeep, we didn't have enough. Then production occurred, and now we've got a stockpile. So you got to be really careful about letting anything go really low on uh, these stockpiles because production happens before or after upkeep. So upkeep arrives, and if you've got low stocks, you can't supply through your network to your units. Then after that phase is done, then production occurs, and the production is distributed uh, to your, your stockpiles. So next turn, we'll be okay. This turn, they didn't get their oil. <laughs> so movement of my units is going to be a little rough. <laughs> 43 out of 700. That's bad. And we've already depleted our... Uh, our stockpile as well. So you're not moving much. They got everything else. They just didn't get their fuel. So, not a surprise. When I saw it was just the tanks, I pretty much knew it was going to be the fuel problem. Order of events. How it uh, how it does the phasing for uh, the logistics. It, it mentions it in the manual, the exact order that it goes through. I can't remember. But I've learned from the past that upkeep occurs before production. So that's why it looks weird sometimes that you're you're out of fuel, but you look and you say, well, I have fuel. What, what happened? <laughs> well, that's what happened. <clears throat> All right, let's turn that off. What else was I looking at? Still building, still building, still working on all the oil pumps. guys are raising your readiness. Really? That's as far as you can go as a motorized unit? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you have no fuel. Don't mind me. <laughs> yes, you can't go far when you got no gas for the trucks. I still don't know what's happening here. See, now it says I can't go across, but I'm in the area already. Oh, hey, we got rare earth. Right up against his territory. Look at that. See, now it won't let me go across. Weird. I don't know what happened there that round. We had something odd happen. He's bringing more units down. I just don't think I'm going to make it in time. Group move, please. So it's going to be... One, two more turn. Well, one more turn did not even get to the border. Then it's going to be move, declare war, and, and get adjacent. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it in time. I didn't draw most of those spaghetti roads. <laughs> That's the computer getting to do its free roads thing. Let's 
So, more consolidation. They actually got some readiness back. That's interesting. Oh. Still hammered. Way too many units, mostly hammered. Hmm. Alright, I'm done everywhere else. I think I'm done everywhere else. You're just kind of a border guard. Yeah, so we'll hit the we'll, we'll, group, will hit the border next turn. Then we'll have to uh, declare war, and I won't be able to get us around. Uh, especially if he moves into a few spaces. Yeah, it's going to be weird what happens over here. Probably should have declared war earlier. Yeah, I should have declared war earlier and started gobbling up territory when he when I saw him coming close. Probably what I should have done. Oh, and now I can move across the border. <laughs> All right, something's broke. Something's broke, but it's not actually capturing the border, but it is using my movement points. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, same problem. Oh, I still have enough. Maybe it's the group move thing that's allowing it. I wonder if that's what's doing it. If I switch back to regular move. Yeah, it's the group move. Oh, hmm. So group move is uh, ignoring the, uh, the locked diplomatic border, is it? One second. Note for Vic. Group move allows movement over locked border. <laughs> At least in my current game it does. Yeah, it's been out for a couple of days now. It was released on the 4th. It's only available on the Matrix Slytherin site, so it's not on Steam yet. It'll be on Steam... I don't know when. Sometime later. If you are interested in buying it, make sure you use one of the discount codes. So, Wargamer20 is one of the codes. I think Nucrium also has a code, Nucrium20. But you get 20% discount. It's $39.99 minus discount. And or whatever your local currency might be. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, group move is messed. Group move is, is broke. So, we'll get my units back out of his territory. We'll try to play, obey the letter of the law here. Next turn, we'll, we'll go across the border. Who's the slowpoke? Why are you slow? Not sure why some units... Uh, readiness? Yeah, different readiness. Or not. Why do you have points but you don't? Because they started different? They must have started different. Whatever. Alright, so we'll, we'll try to deal with that. <laughs> this group, I'm not sure where we're going to send them once we get our logistics fixed. How much time do we got still? 3.1 turns, and we've got worker shortages on top of everything else. Of course, I did start doing construction on a massive amount of stuff. So we need tons and tons of workers called up and sent out to all these locations. So we have a worker, sur or a worker shortage right now. What am I paying the people here? You guys are making what? Ooh, you're making 0. 0.6? What are my workers getting paid? 0. 0.8. So the workers have still got an economic advantage. They should not have a problem hiring workers. I'm paying the workers more than the general pop. Yeah, it's just going to take a turn or two for this all to sort out. 1.1. Yeah, it's going to take two at least. And then another couple for that. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I knew I was going to put a hurt on my economy. Look at this. Ouch. 
Oh boy. We're just gonna have to let that ride until that uh, settles out. Tried to do too much at once. Uh, what to do with these guys? Still having a problem rolling up the southern flank. Just don't have the points for it. I can't... <laughs> 1 to 223! How about we not do that one? <laughs> oh, what happened to the economy while you're away? Uh, an oil crash, a logistics crash. I, I tried to get like five oil heads built at once while also upgrading multiple infrastructure items. So I don't have enough workers to handle all that work. I don't have enough uh, fuel to fuel my, my, my motorized and mechanized units. Plus, being out of fuel has affected certain of my buildings that needed fuel as part of their income, which is why some of these numbers are bad right now, I believe. <laughs> so if we look at the assets list for Neutron Head, for example. Oh, any of this stuff like that requires oil. That requires oil requires oil <laughs> may or may not have gotten the oil they needed needed 90 used 82 of the 90 allotted but whatever I, I basically just got a bit of a crash it'll sort itself out but it's going to take a couple of turns hopefully we're still still alive in a couple of turns all these little yellow triangles are things being built <laughs> so there's a lot going on right now I got stuff down here being built. Lots of stuff in the heartland being built. We got uh, bureaucratic offices and truck stations being built. Just a lot of stuff. So, um, so much to pay attention to. Got enough ammo for at least a few more rounds. I need to try to not move my trucks around as much as I can. Hmm, excuse me. Okay, <clears throat> so how are we going to deal with this? <laughs> he keeps getting fresh units somehow into this southern group. I definitely can't deal with him with just the uh, light units I have down here in the militia. I've got, what, one tank unit who should be up with his group up north, but somehow managed to work his way down here. One artillery and one pretty heavily damaged. Oh, crap. I ran out of replacement troops. I got exactly enough, but our infrastructure wasn't enough to deliver all the troops we needed. We're short on motorcycles. Oh, yeah, that's going to be another problem. Oh, boy. Current points. Yeah, it's getting pretty thin up front here. 